great. Friends, welcome as the ice dragon falls into her slumber again. Here opens the virtual court of the festival of the passing of the ice dragon with their excellencies Padre and Juliana of the Barony of the Vridric Hale. Your excellencies. Good afternoon all. Thank you very much for coming. It is wonderful to see you. As well, we don't get to see enough of people as of late, but as we know, this uh, plague has been, well, <clears throat> plaguing us for over a year now, but we could not go two years without the passing of the ice dragon as the weather earlier this week clearly showed us it needed to happen because, well, she wasn't ready to go to sleep quite yet. But we do have uh, a wonderful court lined up and hopefully people will stick around for a uh, enjoyable social time afterwards with some bardic activities. Greatly look forward to that. And we do have Ice Dragon Court Bingo. So if you have a separate device or whatever that, or that you can pull up a bingo card, please play along. And our event steward, Lady Thalia, has a special token for the first person to get bingo. All right, well, without further ado, and speaking of which, uh, perhaps our event steward would have a few words. Thank you, Excellencies. <laughs> uh, so first of all, I'd like to start off by um, thanking our Majesties um, for being able to attend our event today. I certainly hope that you enjoy yourselves and enjoy the festivities. Um, Your Excellencies, I'd like to thank you also because you gave me the opportunity to take on running this event um, as a virtual ice dragon. And uh, I, I just really appreciate the fact that you entrusted me to, to put this all together. And I really appreciate the opportunity. And I hope I hope I did I hope I did well and did you proud to, to make this all come together. <laughs> we are so proud of you and thank you so much. You've put in so much hard work for this. I mean, the work that you had done, you know, for last year that we had to cancel so unexpectedly and you picked up and carried on and have done an amazing job working with us, with the ANS staff, with the tech staff. Thank you. We so we really do appreciate all of your hard work. Thank you so much. That means, that means so much to me to hear you say that. <laughs> Okay, when we're vaccinated, you are getting a really big hug. <laughs> oh, that sounds really good. <laughs> Doing you. the big jobs is difficult enough during easy times, but during times like this just adds that much more. And it is quite impressive that you have persevered through all of the challenges that we've had and you know, it allow us to hold a successful event. Thank you. I, I really appreciate you saying that. It means very much to me. <laughs> Um, so uh, to continue on, I'd like to thank Mr. Corey and all of her staff. Um, Mrs. Corey did a lot of hard work um, making the arts and science competition come together. And I really appreciate how well she worked with me to make sure everything was coming together, including spending a lot of time with myself and also Lady Elizabeth, who's the Borneo Wet Minister. Um, to get all the forms converted, to be make sure every, to make everything online, including the registration for the arts and science, and you know, for the judges to be able to sign up to volunteer to do judging, um, and to get and working with the web minister to you know to get the website set up and coordinating every coordinating everything to be on Zoom, and she entrusted me to handle all the tech aspects of making the arts and science with the virtual judging, and so I really appreciate that she gave me that opportunity and. I really I was glad to work with her to make this all happen and and also her staff that helped in the process as well. Um, I also would like to thank Lady Elizabeth Hoffman, who's our Borneo Web Minister. She did such amazing work with getting the website set up with all the information regarding Ice Dragon and making all the forms online accessible for the entrant registration, the judging sign up. And for bitches being there, being accessible to answer questions and resolve any technical issues that came up. Um, I very much appreciate all the hard work that she did. I would like to thank uh, Ma Lady Magdalena um, for her great assistance with coordinating the Zoom rooms and 
providing training to all the Zoom readers and just answering all the questions regarding Zoom in general and just and she, I found that she was very helpful in that whole process. I would like to thank uh, Baroness Amelie Reinhardt. Um, she was a great help when I had questions regarding just uh, technical technical aspects to make virtual ice dragon happen and for her willingness to answer any technical questions, including giving great advice about where to start with making virtual ice dragon happen, come together. And also for her being present today to help with all the technical aspects of court. So I very much appreciate her help. I'd like to thank uh, Lady Genevieve, Sarah Magnus de Leon, um, for being Zoom readers during the virtual judging in the court. Um, I'd like to also thank uh, Mr. Scordelia for helping. She's going to be helping with and seeing the social after court. So I very appreciate that she volunteered. Uh, I'd also like to thank Baroness Mar Marielle Delact, Morel Delact for for her assistance um, as a colonial social media officer for setting up face for setting up Facebook event page. And I would like to thank all the judges who volunteered their time um, to do this all uh, to do the judging for all the uh, compliance entrants. And I'd also like to thank all the entrants themselves for for being willing to enter and share and share their amazing work um, with the rest of the <laughs> with Dr. Mark and with the Barony. Um, <laughs> I'd also like to thank Lord Aideen for who volunteered her time to uh, to set up to host the bardic circle that we had um, earlier in April. And uh, my apologies if I <laughs> if I miss anything, but I finally like to say thank you. Thank you, coordinating all the Zoom readers and, and doing all the scheduling for that to happen. I just want to thank him for him. I'm still, I just got online. I just got home. Um, bear with me a moment while I figure out why my, there we go. There I am. Okay. <laughs> I came in a little late and I apologize for that. Um, you've invited me into court to speak about the Ice Dragon pentathlon. Yes. And it has been a pentathlon I take it back. It has not been a pentathlon because we unfortunately did not get um, anyone entering more than five categories. But it has been an ice dragon competition like no other we've quite had. Um, the uh, the amazing staff that Vanessa put together for the event uh, included um, Melissa, our our web minister, who also is very, very good at creating um, um, functional infrastructure for working with people online. And we pretty much took off from not quite ground zero because we saw how they did it on the kingdom level for the kingdom ANS. 
And we are actually still looking at taking it a few steps farther. Um, but as a, as a result, we now have a functional pre-registration system that includes the ability to see people's documentation before the event that we will be using in the future, since that is the single primary complaint that we have had over the years is that the, the judges can't, they don't have the time to read at the event. So they can go into the event knowing what they're going to be judging, having read the documentation already. And that for, for the times that we're in, this is pretty miraculous. This has been on the wish list for eight or 10 years. And suddenly we have it because of Melissa. And we had an Ice Dragon competition because of Vanessa. Um, I'm using modern names, aren't I? I do apologize. Um, okay. And we, we would not have had a, a, a competition at all this year. Um, uh, although I have, I'm, I'm ostensibly in charge of the competition for this year. I was not, I was not going to be able to manage it. And Vanessa stepped up and put into place stuff that made it possible for us to pull a rabbit out of the hat. Um, and it was very small. We, we didn't have a lot of, of competitors, um, but the ones that we got were very stalwart and the materials that they submitted were remarkable. Um, we don't publish the scores. We just give them back to the entrance, but um, it's very common for us to, to let people know that the, the highest score at Ice Dragon um, uh, in this case, it was 85 out of 90 points. Um, and the next ones coming up behind it were in the 78, 79, maybe 80 range. So the quality of what we got presented to us was, yeah, that was Ice Dragon quality, no question about it. That was, they, they were, some of the stuff that was presented was pretty amazing. Um, are we ready to actually announce the winners? Um, we would like to do the Kings and Queens and Baron of Baroness's choice first and then the winner. Okay. In that case, I'm going to, I'm going to finish up right now with thanking the entrants because we don't have a competition without them and thanking the judges for jumping into something that was completely off the wall and new. Um, I really appreciate it. There's, there's some ways in which this year is sort of a test for next year. And I think that we're really gonna be able to grow a lot more interaction in the arts with the direction that we're going with Ice Dragon now. Your, ma your excellencies, back to you. All right, well, I uh, believe their majesties have uh, picked a favorite entry from the Ice Dragon ANS competition, and we would be uh, very happy to hear from them about that. Hello, Your Excellencies. Thank you for having us uh, at your Ice Dragon court. We appreciate it. We are very close to you, but oh so far, as you know. Um, we uh, enjoyed all the entries, the, uh, the amazing craftsmanship that went into these uh, were outstanding. Um, it was really tough to pick one that we liked. Um, and, you know, we're always amazed at the work that people do on the ANS side and the SCA in our kingdom. Um, and it's particularly uh, exciting that, you know, even though we can't gather, uh, that people were willing to continue to work on projects and, you know, just having something put into a competition to be judged is, you know, uh, strength of character alone, and we appreciate that. And uh, we did pick one, though, that we thought was our favorite. <laughs> if, it, if the Herald would be so kind. <laughs> of course, Your Majesty. At this time, Their Majesty's wish to recognize Lord Cassiano de Castello. And I believe the entrance was for what, Your Majesty? 
uh, for Krupnik. So I don't I don't know if uh, Lord Kaz is interested in turning on uh, their camera and being seen or not, but if you are, you're most welcome to. <laughs> you don't have to, though. Um, I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the joys of Zoom. <laughs> Hey. hey, there they are. And it's wonderful to see you both. Uh, as we know, we, you both uh, did enter. And as His Majesty said, it was very difficult to make those choices uh, for that gown is amazing. And, and the research and, and dedication to go into it. However, we had to make one choice. And Lorca has, uh, we have to say that in the seemingly short time that we have known you, uh, your passion, dedication, and knowledge of your art has been incredible, um, as is your generosity um, in sharing Krupnik with all those who are willing and able to take part in it. So for that, uh, we would recognize you with our choice in this competition. So thank you. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. And it's okay, you can say page count. I understand. It was, it was impressive. Yeah. <laughs> Even he was like, wow, that's a lot of documentation. <laughs> so thank you again. Thank and we do much. have a, a scroll. The beauty of these fair oh. lands is reflected in our works of Cassiano de Castello. They are our choice in the arts and sciences competition held at Ice Dragon. So say we, Maynard and Leiden of Ethelmark, King and Queen, this 24th day of April, Anno Societatis 55, in the barony of the Riddrick Hale. The scroll is by Mistress Leiden Nicleri de Nicoyle, I'll get her name right someday, and Baron Caleb Reynolds. So for Lord Cass and the Krupnik, vivat! 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 vivat. vivat. That's great. Thank you. And thank you for allowing us this opportunity. Thank you, Your Excellency. You're welcome. So, Your Your Excellencies, I believe you also made a choice. Yes, yes, and what and said every single entry was amazing. I loved being able to read through the documentation, kind of at my leisure, to really be able to process it. Oh my God, Lord Cast that. That was not just documentation, that was a research paper and absolutely amazing. I learned so much from it. And if I may quote, any Russian worth is borscht. Yes. Like, <laughs> the, the documentation was delightful to read. Um, I, I very much appreciate the senses of humor our uh, subjects have. Um, it's It was absolutely wonderful. I learned a lot by reading them as well. And hopefully I will be able to produce uh, you know documentation that's at least a pale shadow of what I got to read out of the entries for this. And it is not un, it is not usual for the two of us to ever be in disagreement about anything, but it took us a bit to figure out who our choice would be because the choices were just so good and represented so many, you know, unique interests inside of the society. So, uh, yes, we are said uh ready to have our choice uh called in please <laughs> their excellencies recognize lady Il iliara rosati and it was for the french hood is ilaria on hello your excellencies hi hello your hood is so just incredibly just elegant in the way you explained the research, the construction, the patterning, everything. Even if we hadn't actually sat through your class at Three Ravens, because we happen to be actually be moderating that room, it's you know, still just so much information and your work itself is just gorgeous. Thanks, Your Excellencies. Thank you very much. Prior to this year, I believe I had precisely zero knowledge of what a French hood was in the first place. I've, of course, seen them, had no idea they were their own things, what their construction entailed, who would wear them. Now I know, uh, and this is a wonderful thing, is expanded upon my knowledge of all things SCA and the work, the workmanship and display of the item was absolutely amazing. Just 
wonderful, wonderful work. The documentation was a delight to read through. And that I, I come out of this a, a smarter person than I was before. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we have a scroll for you as well. <laughs> We welcomed artists to celebrate the passing of winter into spring, and one stood out to us above the rest. Iliara Rosati is Baron and Baroness's choice in the Arts and Sciences competition held at Ice Dragon, done in our court on the 24th of April, Anno Societatis 55, in the barony of the Riderick Hale. Scroll by Mistress Leiden Nacleri Nacoyle and Lady Riven. For Lady Ilaria and her beautiful French hood. Vivat! 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 So, Mistress Corey, would you like to announce the winner of the competition today? It would be my pleasure. Um, as I said, we had remarkable, absolutely remarkable entries this year. Um, small, high quality competition. Um, but the one that stands out um, significantly is uh, something that got entered into Curiosa. It was a functional bread oven with um, the whole process of baking the bread from the initial making of the oven through the making of the bread. Uh, and the um, folks who did this because it was a, a, a group entry and, and because we had a small group, a small uh, set of entries, we pushed everything into one competition. Um, is Simon and Elska a Farfelli? I'm not sure I'm saying that right, and I do apologize. Um, uh, the, the two of them together worked on this bread oven and put together the documentation and videos and everything please go to the website and make sure that you get to see not just this entry, but all of the entries because they're pretty amazing. Um, and as I said, out of a possible 90 points, they got 85. Um, oh, that's that's um, just astounding. Um, is there a scroll for them? There is, there is. Good fortune befalls any land that is rich with artistic and scientific talent. Fortuitous are the lands of Ethelmark, for we possess many talented artisans. Today, on the 24th day of April, in the second year of the Great Plague, Anno Societatis 55, the glorious barony of the Riderick Hale shines a light on the talented artisans of the kingdom. Mistress Elska Farfelli and Simon Farfelli, you know, I'll get it, I really will, has shown brilliant creativity and great skill with their submission for the Arts and Sciences competition. Therefore, do we, Padre and Juliana, Baron and Baroness of the Riddick Hale, declare them the Ice Dragon Arts and Sciences competition winner. Words by the Honorable Lady Beatrice de Winter and myself and the scroll is a work in progress. For Elska and Simon the Shoeless. Vivant! <laughs> Vivant! Wow. Vivant! I am not going to let you live that down, Simon. I know that. <laughs> um, Simon? Yeah. Sorry, I, I haven't heard you speak in a while. That was neither, a little bit of a surprise. <laughs> neither have I, Simon. All right. Hearing some. He, he added a few <laughs> inches too. You inches and lowered a few octaves. <laughs> <laughs> I, I must say, the having read through the documentation, I of course started spying uh, areas in my backyard where I might perhaps put up <laughs> a clay bread oven, and uh, to make also to make sure that the prevailing winds blow towards my least favorite neighbor uh, in order to pester them when I have to light it because yes. that's what one does. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely put a roof over it. Yeah, that's a good one. Yes. Yummy bread. Thank you again 
and congratulations, Elska and Simon. Thank you to everybody who entered. We see that we were said I was amazed by all the entrants, and we are so happy that people were able to find time to participate. Your Excellency, I think they all deserve a vivant. Yes. So for Thalia and Corey and the entire staff and all of the entrants and all of the judges to make Ice Dragon Arts and Sciences competition this year go off without a hitch, vivant. 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 All right. So your excellencies, we're, while we're still on this topic of the competition, um, I believe there's something or someone you want to have uh, more words with. Yes. yes. Shall, shall I call that person forward? Yes, All right. Um, Lady Elizabeth Hoffman, my cohort in crime and all things on the web. Um, their excellencies would like to have words with you today. Okay, so can you all keep a secret? <laughs> well, she'll see it as soon as I publish the court report. Fair enough. So one of the things that our barony cherishes is great works of engineering. Many people do not know this, but we have an award specifically for it, the Order of the Portcullis. We have uh, seen fit to give it out for um, a couple of good gentles building a accessibility ramp because it's a wonderful engineering project, benefits people, and something that we feel deserves uh, recognition. We also believe being in the same field that software engineering is something that is also important. And the engineering behind the new Ice Dragon registration system is absolutely wonderful. Um, having worked in the Ice Dragon judge judging business a few times, I realize exactly how difficult that is to get working correctly. And consequently, we believe that this deserved you know, to be recognized publicly for everyone. Yes, so yes, uh, for her, I said automated registration and scoring system, said that it's a technological engineering feat. We want, said we want to recognize Lady Elizabeth and all of her hard work with the Order of the Portcullis. Shall I read the scroll, scroll your excellencies? Yes, please. All right. We, Padre, Baron, and Juliana, Baroness of the Ritter Kale, make this declaration on the 24th day of April, Anno Societatis 55. Be it known that the bearer of this letter represents the Order of the Portcullis, which was founded to recognize a single act of service to our barony going above and beyond all expectations. Since the pandemic has ravaged our good lands, a solution was needed to allow our arts and sciences competition to continue in these distant times. With wizardry in automating the registration and scoring system, Lady Elizabeth Hoffman performed a technological engineering feat. By these words, we welcome her to the order with all rights and privileges thereof. Scroll done by me. So for Lady Elizabeth, Wrong side. Vivant! 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 Your Excellencies, uh, there is another order that does need a name added to their ranks, and they've been all abuzz. So shall I invite that person in? Yes. yes. Wonderful! Their Excellencies would like to recognize Her Ladyship Edith Winterton. Hi, Edith. So... Since you know, we've been, you know, this has been a, a primarily arts and sciences competition, we thought that this was the perfect of court to recognize the work that you do in the field of arts and sciences, <laughs> which is literally everything. All the rabbit holes. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, you know, are, are, are you going to be spinning or weaving or making things out of clay or dying, dying, um, doing, uh, doing illuminations? Who knows? It depends what day of the week it is or perhaps what hour it is. But we have gotten to see you work many, many times. Um, we have seen the uh, work that you have done just as many times. And you are a inspiration to everyone for the variety of things that you work on and how well that you work on them. 
you truly enjoy arts and sciences and that is something that is of utmost important that importance that people really should you know understand and appreciate that this isn't work it's done solely you know for enjoyment and one's own benefit your excellencies cannot see me stuttering at at, at this end but it is happening <laughs> Your Excellencies are also fortunate because the ear splitting squeak happened before unmuting. <laughs> well, we love your work and we are so happy that we have an opportunity to recognize, uh, to recognize you. Thank you, Your Excellencies. You're welcome. You're welcome. So, Zosha, if you would be so kind. Of course. Be it known to all that we, Padre and Juliana, Baron and Baroness of the Riddrick Hale, have seen the beautiful works of Edith Winterton. Her skills with paper and paint, clay, weaving, and heraldry are boundless and make our barony a beautiful place. Thus do we induct her into our Order of the Golden Bee, done by our hand this 24th day of April, Anno Societatis 55 at Ice Dragon, scroll by Baroness Rosamund von Glinda, which was hand embroidered. Ooh. Yep. She, she For her like ladyship, Edith, and her love of the arts, Vivat! 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 Ooh, okay. <laughs> your Excellencies, uh, time to switch some gears from arts and sciences to uh, maybe to look at your lists and your ranges, which have kind of been quiet lately. But yeah. I believe you want to have words with someone? Yes, please. Yes, we do. All right, I will call them in. Um, their Excellencies wish to recognize today Lady Thalia. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so you not only serve, you not only, you know, as event staff making largesse, you are all over the list field and the ranges, say, rapier, archery, both as a shooter and as a marshal, thrown weapons, both as a thrower and as a marshal. Siege and combat archer, siege and combat archery. You uh, won the privateer tourney at the co uh, combined hail fast score champs two years two years ago. Sorry. The I I never cease to be amazed at just how many different sorts of things you do, and within each of those different things, all the different things you do within that. So you know it's not uncommon to see you dressed up to shoot or to throw or to stab your friends. It can, it can never really tell what's, uh, what you'll be working on. But when you do work, we always also notice that you take a leadership position with that, of course, and learning how to marshal and taking uh, over the responsibility of making sure that things are working and that you know uh, the events happen, uh, the activities happen at the events and that practices happen so people can participate well at those things. And that strengthens our barony, strengthens the kingdom, makes the entire thing work better. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for saying welcome. You're welcome. Shall I read the scroll, Your Excellencies? Yes. yes. All right. Thalia Papillon. You have been called before us, Padraig and Juliana, Baron and Baroness of the Ritter Kale, to be recognized. You have displayed honor, courtesy, chivalry, and grace while on the rapier, rapier field, or on the ranges, or even in the midst of a siege, all while taking on various roles to lead and to organize and to defend. Knowing well your worth, your name has been added to our list of the Order of the Dragon's Combatant, done in the second year of the Great Plague, Anno Societatis 55, and the fourth month on the Saturday after the last snows of the Ice Dragon, April 24th. Scroll by me. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. This means so much to me. 
you're welcome and it's so well deserved that you, every time i turn around you have picked up yet another martial activity <laughs> and you're and you're and you're progressing in each of them so well thank you so much and thanks a lot <laughs> And I plan to continue when things open up again. Soon. <laughs> For our Lady Thalia of the many hats. Vivat! 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 Your Excellencies, uh, there is one other order, uh, one for service, and one who shares a name with this great event um, has uh, some business. Um, there's a name that needs to be added. Yes. If you'd be so kind as to call them in. I certainly will. Their Excellencies call to recognize the Honorable Beatrice de Winter. Hear me now. Yes. We can hear you now. Okay. Hi. Hello. Thank you, Your Excellencies. What can I do for you? That's the best question that you could possibly ask for this award because that's what you always ask. And then you follow through on it. You're very well known to us, to our predecessors, to various reigns through the kingdom for your service to anybody and everybody who needs things taken care of. You're rather famously uh, not only for carrying out duties through for various offices and events, but also for personal support to people, being the you know ear to listen when somebody has something to say, or the shoulder to cry on when they need to, and we feel that this is a very important part of the society. I mean, I remember when you started, and I have watched you just grow and take on all sorts of different said, responsibilities of being said, event staff as an officer, you know, at the said, Baronial level, at the kingdom level, and your work has not gone unnoticed. And we thank you so much for all of said, all of the time that you have spent serving, said, serving our barony and serving the kingdom. Thank you. That's very kind of you. You're welcome. Zosha, if you would. Of course. The Baron and Baroness to the Honorable Lady Beatrice de Winter. Since we've had consultation and meeting with the peers, barons, baronesses, lords, ladies, nobles, and other principal people of our barony with regard to the, quant to the quantity and quality of service which you have done for our barony, ourselves and our predecessors, we will command you, strictly enjoining you in the fidelity and allegiance in which you are bound to us, that on the 24th day of April, in the second year of the plague, you accept from our virtual hands the token of the venerable order of the ice dragon, and do greet the members the said order while staying three sloth lengths apart. <laughs> three. In witness do we, Padre and Juliana, Baron and Baroness of the Ridrick Hale, commit our sanitized hands to paper at the virtual <laughs> festival of the passing of the ice dragon. Scroll, of course, by Baron Caleb Reynolds. <laughs> Caleb. With love and frivolity because, <laughs> it, because it's Bubba. <laughs> Indeed. Thank you so much. I am so honored. Yes, and the, the honor is all ours in order to be able to recognize you for your good works. Thank you again. For her ladyship Beatrice and her many, many years of service to the barony. Vivite! 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 Three sloths lengths apart. It's very difficult to say. Just saying. Your Excellencies, um, but wait, there's more. Um, shall I call them forward? Yes, yes, please. Their Excellencies call to recognize Mistress, Mistress Layden. Nakleri Nakoil. I'll get it right. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How's it going? Good. I know we just saw you yesterday for, you know, when we went, to, when we came over to pick up scrolls from you yet again, doing yes, service yes, to the barony, not just, the, not just with, I mean, with your art, but. 
Yeah, yeah it's, <laughs> it, it's wonderful that, you know, through the years, having been able to witness so many of my friends and who do service and have taught me how to be better at service, and then to be in a position to not only benefit from that service even more, but also then to recognize people for it is one of the great blessings of holding our office. And as we look through the ranks of our, uh, the members of our orders, your, your absence was a, a, a glaring omission to us. So we felt that we had to take care of that and see to it that you get recognized for all that you do for the barony. And it is a lot. Yes, for those who do not know Mr. Sillian, she tends to do a lot of her work very quietly in the background. I said as a, as a scribe, which tends to be a bit of a solo activity, she is an amazing cook, event and support staff. She is one of those people that said like Beatrice is there, how can I help? What can I do? She, she helps lighten the load and that is so appreciated. And she's just one of those people that the barony would not function without her. And we thank you so much. I always wish I could do more actually. So those are lovely words. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh, and if, once we get back to not only being able to have events, but when you know cooking is allowed again, if she makes shortbread for an event, you want to eat it. Trust me on this. For those who have not had her shortbread, it is amazing. Just don't push your whole face into the bowl of custard. Just <laughs> yes. Well, I, I'm looking forward to more opportunities to uh, to make my shortbread and my curds and share everything with everybody. So it's been a long time and I'd really enjoy doing that again. Zosha. Great deeds silently and consistently given with no thought of reward or recognition often go unnoticed and unsung. Let the tale now be told and let the bards sing sweet songs of the loving labors and selfless service of our beloved Laodin, who has assisted at countless events, produced scores of stunning scrolls, tables of tempting tidbits, and the only pan of bread ever known to generate marriage proposals. <laughs> Thus, that this void, oh, I get this now, okay. Thus, that this void in our roster may be filled. Do we, Padre, go Brandif and Bar uh, Baron, and Juliana Rosalia Dolce de Siena, Baroness, gratefully, gratefully induct her into our venerable order of the ice dragon, done this 24th day of April, Anno Societatis 55, in our virtual, virtual court of our festival of the passing of the ice dragon in our barony of the Riddrick Hale. Scroll by brother Bobby and mistress Jenna. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say. I have no idea what to say. I'm completely floored. Thank you so much. Just stunned. <laughs> really stunned. Once again, the pleasure is all ours. For Mistress Layden and her tempting tidbits, which we can't wait for. Be right. Be right. Be right. Thank you very, very much. Your Excellencies, that concludes the business. Is there uh, any other words you care to share before we close court? Um, yes. What we said, we will be having a social and said informal bardic. If anybody feels so moved to sing a song or tell a story, that would be welcomed. And the scroll recipients, please contact us privately um, through Facebook Messenger or email after the event so that we can discuss making arrangements to get your scrolls to you. And we'd like to thank everybody for showing up today and for our court and everybody who's participated in every aspect of Ice Dragon, uh, the various and sundry people who have worked to make things happen as we have uh, already thanked and will thank many times again um, for all the people coming by to participate and just uh, gracing us with your presence and making the entire organization, you know, the big club that it is. Uh, I hope that everybody is uh, having a wonderful day and I hope to see as many of you as possible during the 
social hour afterwards. Thank you. <laughs> we good? Yes, we are. All good. right. Being no further business, here closes the virtual ice dragon court of Anno Societatis 55, year two of the plague. Yay!